let's understand about flow trigger explorer so this is a new feature and uh, this feature is particularly related to record trigger flow so if you have created record trigger flow in your org and if you want to uh, maintain the order of their execution so you can click on this button and here you can see we have two options in first option we can select the object for which you have created the record trigger flow and then in second case we have this option whether you created the flow for record creation updation or deletion so based on that your uh, flows will be listed here so i have selected account and record is updated so for this requirement two flows are available those will run uh, in fast field updates so if i open the record trigger flow so that i can show you those things so if we create any record trigger flow so here we have two options fast field update and actions and related records so fast field update means your flow will run before the record is saved to the database and actions and related record means your flow will run after the record is saved in the database so here you can see uh, these flows are related to fast field update so uh, record run before save you can read this help text as well a before save flow runs before the record is saved to the database in order to provide high performance this flow offers limited functionality use this simpler flow to quickly update fields on the record that triggers the flow to run right so now if you want to change the order so here you can see this flow will run first and this will second and it is showing like uh, which flow is active or which is inactive if you want to change the order you can just click on this edit order and from here you can drag and drop and update and update so here you can see order of execution is updated so first this flow will run and then second this one but it depends whether the flow is active or inactive if you want to change like inactive to active or active to inactive so you can click on this and you can go and open the flow or you can open the flow details and versions right and if you want to create new flow under this category fast field update so you can click on this button as well similarly you can see we have actions and related records so here uh, three flows are available so similar to fast field update you can also change the order here as well so let's say i am putting it above and clicking on update so uh, these uh, messages are uh, available so you can just go through with this and then click on update right so this way if you want to change the order of execution of your uh, record trigger flows so you can third option is run asynchronously so in record trigger flow we have one more option that is so here i need to choose this option then that option will be available add scheduled paths right so if you select this so if you have created any scheduled path so it means your flow scheduled path will run asynchronously in that case your flow will available in this category as well so if you have run immediately then your flow will lie under these two categories if you have set the path scheduled path then your flow will be available under this run asynchronously category so here you can see an asynchronous path can access an external system after the original transaction for the triggering record is committed to the database these paths runs in the background and don't delay the execution of your original triggered transaction so the scheduled transaction will be executed in same manner and uh, the scheduled path will be executed later on as well so use an asynchronous path to execute a long running operation such as a call out to an external web service or any operation that you want to run on its own time right so if you want to run immediately then we have this uh, this this path run immediately and if you want to schedule the path so you can just add it from here right so right now it is having run immediately so if i if i want to add schedule so 
let's say scheduled path account is created one hour after after one hour of this account created if i want to do some operation so that will happen so i'm just clicking on done so here you can see we have one path for run immediately we have one path for scheduled path right and uh, so this way you can uh, have these two different paths so now if i take you to the flow so here also you can see we have one option that is open flow trigger explorer for account so this ui which we opened by clicking on this button flow trigger explorer this you can open from here as well so this is all about flow trigger explorer which is very useful to manage the execution order of your record trigger flows so don't forget like here uh, you can select different different objects and from here you can choose the uh, event like for which your record trigger flow is created